I'll bet 10. Okay, I'll, I'll raise it up. I don't think he's got it. Well, you know, he's trying to be serious now. He's Ooh. about as serious as a fart in a space suit right now. Look at him. Wow, I bet you they're all <laughs> laughing at him on that one. A yeah. fart in a space I suit? Have wow. to, I have to agree. That was wow. not good. Jeez, do you, do you do that on the We're, post game show? <laughs> Hey everybody, it's time for a fart in a spacesuit. Ah, call in, call in if you want to hear some more of those jokes. From the Rivers Casino in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, it's Poker Night in America, Celebrity Home Game. Featuring veterans of professional hockey, Rick Natras, Chris Terrian, Dave the Hammer Schultz, Christian Hansen and his father from the legendary Hansen brothers, Dave Hansen. And your host, Vinny Favorito. Hey everybody, welcome again to Poker Night in America Celebrity Home Game. We are in beautiful Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I love it here in Philly, I truly do. We're at the Rivers Casino, we're having a great time, and it's time for part two of our hockey night. And uh, I want to check the chip counts again, see where we left off, and then we'll start this game and have, have some more fun, give you a chance to win your chips back and see what happens. Natris up $145. Yeah, he played a good first round. Chris Hansen up $60. I'm up $35. Dave Hansen up $30. Dave Schultz down $125. And Chris Tarion down $145. But like I say, you have another episode to win that back. And let's get the cards rolling, our beautiful dealer, Anna. Let's, hit, let's do this. I'm a blind, you're a blind. Oh, boys. Well, you're blind when you dress, but that's for sure. Mm. And I okay, guarantee the public, yeah. just, to, just to make the show new, I'm going to guarantee the public that we will not hear any spacesuit related <laughs> jokes. That is not going to take place. Kind of like space space suit piss, jokes. We don't want to piss report. off NASA. He yeah. has come up with another angle. He's going to go with elevators instead of space <laughs> 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 Which is is the better is the better play, Vinny. It is the better so play. True. Yeah, you know what? Let's get this thing going. You're actually that. a pretty cheery guy, but when you walked in oh, uh, today, I hate him. Wow. Come on, hate him, man. But when you walked in today, I thought you were a little down. That's why I said, "Hey, oh. why the long face?" And it just turns out you just have a long face. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know you've heard it before, but I'm doing a show. <laughs> I've never heard that one. <laughs> it's got original material. Yeah, now it's like the space thing. Uh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I love you guys. I don't want this one to end. You guys are so much fun. I've never had such a bad headache in my life as I've gotten from the guy to my left. That's gotta be a big headache. Yeah, too. it's a big <laughs> headache. Oh, you're squinting now. You need glasses? You can use them here. You're not it's, smarter it's, than you look. Eh? I wasn't even making yeah, give a joke. Me. That's what you should be. Is they this what you wore me. in the movie? Yeah, yeah. Are these the ones? Yeah. Oh my no, they're gosh. Not. They are. Can they I didn't have on? the tape on them. Where's the well, tape? He well, he cleaned it up well, for what? the show. Oh, I feel well, like Fuji on McHale's Navy. I gave him the pair oh. with the fake nose. Look at that. That's so cool, man. These are old. Look at those heavy. I know. Look how heavy those are. Those are Holy thick. Hey. Oh, sorry. No, no, it's Bet okay. That, that's a bleep. <laughs> This is actually, I could use these. They're actually, that's pretty cool because they look like <laughs> yeah, thick thing, but do. you can see right through them. When they, well, when we, glass, the first pair of movie, oh, first oh. pair of glasses they gave us, <laughs> you can see right through were them. actually <laughs> beveled. Really? And they had a little flat spot in them. They said, here guys, try these, go skate around with these. Wow. We skate around them, after we get down, we felt like we were going to puke. Yeah. Right? yeah, so they came Vertigo. up with these, yeah. <laughs> then you do that. But you know glass, did it. you know that you could see right through it? Vinny just came up with that one. I just can't believe you. He's brilliant. <laughs> hey, no, I thought they were, because in the movie, their eyes are bigger, and it it's looks like they're magnified, but they're actually not. I had a two and a three. I had. That's so cool, though. You know, when you think about it, when you do think about it, though, to, and I, I'm not in awe of celebrities a lot, but this this movie, yes, and, and iconic. boom, you're, you're here sitting next to the guy, you know? This movie is actually, I can tell you right now, and I think anyone would agree, is, is very much a, a the fa part of the fabric of pro hockey and hockey in general, right. as there's ever been a movie to, to yeah. come about uh, for hockey Way players. to call, that's a good one. How about Chris? that? Fabric. Yeah, that, that is. I, think it's, I think that's well put, yes, but I is. think the lady, the sister of the guy who played in the minor leagues, and <laughs> came up with this idea, and it was a brilliant idea. Yeah. It really was. But this movie turned out to be a cult movie such as a movie they thought wasn't going to be great 
which is the Warriors. I don't know if you oh, ever saw yes. the Warriors. Yep. Love the Warriors. I think it's. I, I think it's. I watch it one time yeah. every year, and what? it was a cult movie, a movie that they thought would go so nowhere. 10, right? yeah. And just like the movie Rounders, unfortunately, I don't want to bring that up. It's a poker show, did. but nobody thought that movie was going to no. go anywhere. Yeah. And and look how big that was. So yeah. you. Well, you are part now. Do you think the sequels hurt the, the movie? No, or? no, because the movie is, to your point, so iconic that the ones we did afterwards, you know. Her name was Nancy Dowd. Nancy Dowd. And, Nancy Dowd. And it's up to you. it was a you. shock mm -hmm. that that type of movie okay. got turned over by a female writer. Yeah. But yet she was an Academy Award-winning writer, having write, wrote uh, *Midnight Cowboy*. Wow. Yeah. Really? And yeah. Wow. Other, you know. Yeah. So Unbelievable. she it was pretty sharp. And the other funny story is, as great as Paul Newman was in it, he was not the original coach, original actor casted for that role. It was Al Pacino. Wow! Can you imagine that? Al Pacino playing Reggie Dunlap. That's crazy. I don't think it would have been the same. That's crazy. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. It's amazing when you hear later oh. on some guys that were cast for a movie and did not take the part. Travolta's famous for that. A couple he didn't take, and Tom Cruise. You just never know, you know what I mean? I got top two. Yeah? Yeah. Ship it. Oh. <laughs> I didn't finish throwing my doesn't money. doesn't matter. You, you called. So you have to play. Or you'll yeah, never be on television no, he again. He was going to raise you. Yeah. Why don't you count it one chip at a time? <laughs> <laughs> 55. Now he's double checking his work. 45, 10 more. Oh, so Dealer, 10 more. That was 55, more. wasn't it? That was 55. No, count it. Dealer, 10 more. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> All right. Oh, good call with a naked ace. That's what I Brilliant. said. Brilliant. Can we talk about what we just talked about again so I can win another hand like that? Because it's probably at work. That's all right. That was a good flop. Wow. We are working good together. But so out of the three, though, the original yeah, is oh, still the best. It's the, the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, you guys actually do, and a lot of people don't realize it, and a lot of it's for charity, but you do over 40 appearances a year since 1977, this movie is, right? And you still do over 40 appearances a year, correct? Yeah, they just won't let us retire. We're all over. We're like a bad rash. We're just <laughs> all over the place. But no, I think that's so cool that you can, you know, carry something that long, you know, from, from one movie. Like well, three movies, actually. Yeah. I mean, I just think it's awesome. I really do. It's been a great ride. Oh, I'm actually a check, right? So yeah. yeah. And it was genius. Yeah. I mean, it was genius. When you guys were, he's shaking that Coke machine and yeah. banging it. I'm going, wow. And Newman, when he watched you guys, let's see what you guys can do. It was, it was just, I, I just love it. Just love it. Yeah. God. Schultz, you look happy down there. That was the old three five. Was Schultz? Different suit. What? No, 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 not you, me. Jack. <laughs> Are you asking? That is 20. Call. Fold. Heads up. Mm. Ooh. Pretty boring. Wow, this has been powerful cards. Yeah, no kidding. Last two, last two hands. Me? Yeah. yeah. 20 again? 25. 25. Look what I pulled up. Call. If you ask Vinny, it's only 15. Yeah. <laughs> Possible flush out there, but there could be a full house. Mm -hmm. Straight. Check. I'll check it. Check. Kings and queens. Nine's no good. Nice hand. <laughs> nice hand. Good job. When you saw the 27 over cards, did you think your nines had a shot? Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, Christian, you're uh, you're out of the league not too long. Uh, what? Uh, three years retired. Yeah, three years retired. Got the family. You're out there working. You you still work kind of in the sports field. Um, and uh, is Pittsburgh you final final place for you? What do you think? For the time being, um, you know, I left home when I was 16 years old, lived here, there, and everywhere. 
while I was playing. You know, moved to Nebraska when I was Look 16, spent four years in college, then oh. went to Toronto, Hershey, oh. Rhode Island, Chicago, a year in Europe. So you okay. know, when I was done, just that's uh, okay. where my roots were. Well, we were talking earlier. You used to, uh, I think this was interesting. You used to go out to LA to work mm -hmm. out. You work out some other guys, and you stayed with a family. Uh, rather than, hey, we'll get an apartment or this and that. And uh, do you do that because, as a younger guy, That's go ahead. Uh, fold. As a younger guy, it, do you think it was better to have that family environment rather than hanging out with the boys because you're taking your career seriously at that point, right? Yeah, it was, it was nice. I had a great family that allowed me to stay in their guest house, and it... Uh, you know, it just allowed me to have some time to myself during the season. You're always around the guys. You're, you know, with them almost 24-7, whether 20. it's at the rink, in the gym, on the bus. So, you know, going out to L.A. and training with a lot of guys, it's kind of the same thing. You're still with the guys all the time. So to be able to just have some time to get away and hang out by yourself, it, uh, it was nice. I like how you said they had a nice family that welcomed you in the house. I had the same thing. When I moved out to LA, they called me I'll Squatter. Well. <laughs> it was kind of a nickname, I guess. Um, yeah. I just, but they were a nice family once they realized I was living in the house. Wow, good for you. That's a great hand. And listen, this is a great game, and we're going to get right back to it. We're going to take a little break. We'll see you in a minute right here on Poker Night in America's Celebrity Home Game. How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. All right, let's go. I'm not listening to this guy anymore. And I'm not repeating the question. <laughs> I'm probably a real cheap guy right now, but where I'm at in my life. So I'm going to try to get out of here with a little bit of money in my pocket. But uh, you know what? I used to play a lot in the airplanes back in more of my early days. And I think like anything, we. Uh, uh, we probably uh, grew up and grew out of that and then we started playing video games. So, uh, <laughs> I would say the people I would likely go after in a poker game, if I were a real malicious player, uh, I would probably say uh, I would go after uh, uh, Dave the Hammer Schultz and probably Dave Hansen, a couple of Daves. Anybody that's been in as much fisticuffs and altercations as those guys had pre-1985, you've got to try to take them down in a poker game, especially when it involves real money. <laughs> Welcome back to Poker Night in America Celebrity Home Game. We are at the Rivers Casino in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia, where they think they've cornerstone the, the steak and cheese and the pretzel. How about not rock, the, the rock salt? I talked about this before. I can't take it. These big chunks of salt on a pretzel. What were you people thinking? Anyhow, uh, <laughs> I, I love your interview. I love the, how you really don't stay focused on the questions. Um, Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, Feel really. That one, brother. No, really. You know what? And you, you should be doing what you're doing. You know, television and commentating. You're articulate. You're very. You project well. He does it because of loss of hearing. But you do it professionally, <laughs> and that's what's important. Don't worry about me, but yeah. I'm worried about him later. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, when you knock him off. You're uh, <laughs> so. We want to end this so because there's supposed to be four episodes, and he's only going to get get through two. It's on you. Yeah, so uh, what am I doing here? You're playing poker. All right, let's do this. But it's going to be a video game let's in go. a minute, just oh, like in your interview. Go. That's right. <laughs> and you kind of, seriously, you still Three look players. like uh, like a young guy, like you could still play, but you you got out of the game, and, and we did discuss this a little bit, Check. concussions, again, yeah. an issue. And it's just horrible that so many careers end Check. because of that. You see a lot of guys, and it's become more, you know, prevalent in, in the last. Check I think uh, uh, I'm gonna bet ten. Bet ten. In the last decade, it's been brought more prevalent. Whether it be movies that have come out with it, more guys' careers ending. You see, uh, you know, uh, uh, back in the summer with Andrew Luck, he ends up retiring. Guys to get injured, they've got to make sure they take care of it and live, be able to to live through a normal life. No, I would have kept agree. playing. I just didn't have the opportunity after that. I mean, you get enough concussions, and that's the way it goes. I agree. I, I, it's to you again. <sighs> Jeez, I don't even know what I got anymore. I started betting. I would have kept playing. Yep. Didn't have the concussions. Sure. <laughs> but it wasn't fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> Two nines on the board. You like that nine. 
Vinny, how'd you get into being I'm a comedian? I'm gonna call it. Oh. You got beat up How every day of his life. He figured it might as well be funny. It's just a quiz. It's not a quiz. Hey, Cy, it wins. Nice hand. How did yeah. I get into stand up comedy? I'll tell you. Man. I, uh. <laughs> I needed something. <laughs> Jeez, I've been getting smacked around here for an hour now. Yeah, well, I gave it to you. I, was, I know um, you did. You took it easy on me. I was you. always a class clown in school. Yeah. Oh, um, my God. No way. Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> He's asking me a question. <laughs> Shock. I knew I was going to be so funny. I'm coming for you. Stop. I knew, I, looking, pal. Oh my God. I knew I was going to be funny when I wrote my first fart in a space suit joke. <laughs> That's when I knew I was going to make it out of inner city Boston. I grew up in inner city Boston, a small kid, uh, tough neighborhoods, bus, you know, going through busing and all that. And I wasn't tough, so I had the gift of gap. You know what I mean? You would have ran a lot more. I just wish someone would run into you right now and just knock you through a wall. So you, we don't need this well, many guys players. Have tried, okay? <laughs> God. I think if you were smart, smart Alec, you would have been running. I can't a lot even more answer already. my own interview. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Not been a lot of run going on there. <laughs> That's what you must have got beat up a lot. I, yeah, I did actually. I did. I did. Um, and then you know, my mom was like, God rest her soul. She said, you know, you you always got in trouble for it. Why don't you go make a living at it? And I did. I went out and became a comedian. And now I sometimes I wish I didn't because you meet some people along the way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and as you just wish that one time you lost your Rolodex. <laughs> you threw you the Rolodex. Yeah. No, it was just no, it yeah. was just a figure of speech. Oh, yeah, okay. When I met yeah. him, I had a Rolodex. <laughs> Oh, I didn't think the movie was that good, actually. Yeah, so well, I'm, you did it Cecil and Ebert the first time. <laughs> Do you know oh, that story? What's that? Cecil and Ebert the first time yeah. gave it a no. thumbs down. Did they really? Yep. Did you know that? Yeah. Guys? What's that? Cecil and Ebert. Siskel and Ebert. Siskel and Ebert. Yeah, you no. want yeah. two other guys gave it a thumbs down? Well, yeah. <laughs> Siskel and thumbs. Ebert gave Slapshot a thumbs down. First time yeah. they watched it. What the hell do they know? Yeah, what do well, they know? Well, and then later on Letterman. In fact, Letterman said, did you ever go through a movie, and then change your mind later? And they said, yeah, and they said, which movie? He said, Slapshot. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yep. You know what I loved in that movie? The, the car he drove. Now, was that a Monte Carlo? No, GTO. No. Oh, it looked GTO. like a Monte Carlo GTO. Yeah. It didn't, I couldn't see it on the back. I didn't see any. Yeah, uh, he used to, <laughs> we'd have a day off, and he'd say, OK, boys, he says, Let's go rent a couple cars from Hertz and take it up to the dirt track up in uh, Guystown, Pennsylvania. Really? And just race them and beat the crap out of them. No lie. Yeah. Wow. I would love to have that car. That was a great car. How about the leather pants, the brown oh, leather pants he wears hot? in the yeah. water? I'm not going to say they were hot. Relax. They were uh, nice to build a shed with. <laughs> okay, I'll check. Well, they, didn't they just have the car two yeah. years ago? It's yeah, a 40th, the 40th yeah. anniversary. And they, they had the that, original guy car? Brought the car. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Has he had shape. it since the movie? Yeah. That's crazy. I'll check. Check. 10. 10 is about. Call. All right, I'll call. Call. So they had the car. Check. Check. But we didn't have the leather suit. No. I think he might have got buried in the leather suit. And he was great to work with, right? Yeah, Paul, he was real a cool guy. guy. Didn't Look, treat you like oh, you know. he was a regular regular guy. Loved to have practical jokes. He'd That's like awesome. to do practical jokes and raise ten. We pulled raise a lot it. of practical jokes on him. Wow. I thought it was great that all the guys that could skate in that movie, you know? Well, the major vast majority of them were 20. professional hockey players. Yeah, no, I'm like talking about the, the actors. And the though. actors, yeah, the actors, yeah. You got, you know, oh. you had uh, Dave so Killer Carlson could guys. skate. Yeah. Uh, Alan Nichols, who played it, Johnny Upton, could skate. Mo no, could no skate yeah. and do a lot of other things. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, Michael Onkeen. Who uh, played Ned Braid in the movie yeah. actually was an All-American Division One player for New Hampshire. Wow. 
and wow. uh, was recruited by the New York Rangers to uh, to play professional hockey. And be before the movie, uh, did you know anybody besides the Carlson brothers? No. Nope. That was uh, okay because nope. you say did New Hampshire. I thought maybe you still keep in touch with a lot of those guys though. Yeah. You yeah. This you know, this uh, we get together every once in a while and. and I have Actually, to thanks to laugh. Dave, we're uh, down the road going to do a hopefully a slap shot night on the show. That'd be great. Well, it was yeah. kind of too short a notice for him to get them for this one. That's why we had to call you guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun here, man. I will check uh, my cards. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now everybody's doing this. Very cool. Oh, you just fold. Check. All right, I'll bet. I got Schultz over there. He's racking him up now. I think he's stuck. No. Huh? I think he's stuck a little. Jeez. Call. 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 Whoop. Oh. Okay, give us a good turn card. Mm. Check. Check. Good. Kind of serious around here. Oh, Ooh. Man. Yeah. Down. Man, that's, that happens. That's, 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 Check or bet? Check. Check. I had two pair on the flop that counterfeited. Yeah. Oh, I'm still good. You are? Oh, and yeah. I'm still good. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, 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 no. You split with Schultz. Yeah, I know, but I, I didn't lose with Ace Four. Yeah. Nice hand, Schultz. That's why I love you. And that's why I love taking a little break so I get can stack the, up there, these there chips. One I get uh, we'll be right back in a couple of minutes here at the Rivers Casino in Philadelphia. Closed captioning is brought to you as a public service by Poker Night in America. I won $5 last time I played, and um, I used that for the toll um, at, at Low Whitman Bridge. Uh, hopefully I can at least hold my own. I never got a whole lot of good hands. I might take a few more chances than I did uh, previously. If anybody I want to get after tonight would be Chris Therian. Rick Natras would be another guy. But other than that, the, Dave Hansen, he's one of me. <laughs> He's one of you. Uh, you know, actually, that's the best, that's that's true. The best compliment. That man, is, I that's a have. great Absolutely. compliment. But actually, it is true. You said you wanted to take a few more chances tonight, and you are. I thought that hand was broken, but it's working tonight. You're actually throwing chips in. That's why I'm down. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think it's no. You're oh. getting in there. You're doing all right. You're not down that much. Oh. I fold. Oh. I fool, but that's a great respect Check. line, what you had for the, he's one of you. It's so true. You guys really come up through the trenches. But, but you won things like Stanley Cups. He won like a dummy Boy DVD player. award. Hey, best DVD, it played so well. Um, just kidding. You are my new buddy, you know that. Yeah. How about when I'm going to be over the I'm house sorry. and Chris will be coming over? Get him out of my room, Dad. Get him out of my room. <laughs> I might just send him for Christmas for you. Just call the cops on Just go yeah. talk. Get him out of the kid's Why room. Why is he hiding in the closet, <laughs> Dad? <laughs> Why are you in a kid's room anyways, Vinny? Easy. <laughs> this, is a, this is a family show. Come on, Schultz. Win a big one here, buddy. Yeah. Oh. All right. Bullies. Getting bullied around here. I feel like Vinny and he's growing up. I haven't caught nothing since the first show. Don't you hate, though, when you say a joke and nobody heard it and it just kind of passes by? Mm -hmm. Now, Chris. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I know how you feel. He just tried to make a joke and it went nowhere. It went nowhere. Yeah. 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 It went nowhere. Raise and lose. Yeah. Chris, you look like it's the end of the world, buddy. <laughs> I just keep, I'm just getting sucked right in more and more. It's Another like that red card just keeps you alive and you're like, oh. Another wow. nickel. Jesus. There's a Hold'em card. That. that deuce. Yeah, that two is going to go wild. That's, that's why they call it Hold'em. Uh, it would have helped me. <laughs> check a bet, sir. Check. He checks. Look at, he's not going to let you Oh, 
Oh, look no. at him. Oh, what a... Well, you squawk so much about the nickel, he knew that's all it took to get you out of the hand. Boy, I gotta tell you so honestly, your dad says to I said to him before that do you play poker? He's real, I don't know much about poker. You sure know how to make those twenty five dollars. <laughs> hey, I guarantee you if I knew anything about poker, I wouldn't have played that hand. I <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that bad. Wow, he bluffed you. Same here. That's what you, he he knew. Bluffed terrible him. hand. He knew, bro. Yeah, but <laughs> no one knew that though. I'll tell you what, no one knew that. Hey, if we could have gotten twelve cards, it might have been a hand. Blind <laughs> <laughs> blind, twenty one and under. That's right. That's uh, right. You guys Hit me. Uh, no, sir, wrong game. Hit me. <laughs> Five to you, sir. I call. Have a look. Have a look. See this line? Try to cross it. So she can reach. Check. Here we go, guys. Oh, we got almost everybody in this one. Five players. Except for Chris, who had the button. Boom. Two spades. Possible straight possibilities. Christian gonna call five or fold. He's gonna fold. Okay, I'm gonna call. Okay. Here we go to the turn. Yeah. To the turn. Boom. Three spades on the board. Yeah. Possible flush. Check. Check. All right. I'm going to bet this one. Bet 20. You are. Save your money, Mr. Schultz. Save it? Save it. Don't listen to him, yeah. man. No, you do what you want to do. He's not your friend. You do what you want to do. Don't show your hand, but it? you do what you want to do. I'm not saying anything. I can't, but... Yeah, you can. I wouldn't listen to this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him you to stay no, out of it. Do what you want. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Piss on him, Schultz. Piss lose. on him. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but you're going to do it your way. That's right. right. Yeah. I'm not going to tell how to do it. I'm a little short Italian guy to tell you what to do. See, I said, just said short. Short is true. Okay. Check. Check. I'll check. Check. Flip them over. Two pair. Two pair. I actually I thought I had the king of spades. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow, that was a close call. You know what? I feel like I feel like I got in trouble. When you used to get in trouble at your job, where they'd always send you in the penalty box. So much you have the record: 472 penalty minutes that'll never be broken ever. And you were in the penalty box so much, they approached you and said, "Want to make a song? You want to sing?" And, <laughs> And we have that song. <laughs> and I, I think everybody at home should hear it. The penalty box sung by Dave Schultz, the hammer. Baby, how long will you keep me in the penalty box? Baby, I'm wrong, but it's lonely in the penalty box. I know I broke the rules, but rules are broken by fools. Baby, how long? Will you keep me in the penalty box? Love is like an ice hockey game. Sometimes it can be rough. Girl, you got me so all aflame. I never, never get enough. You got me charging and cooking, holding and hooking. And then you blow the whistle on me. When you gonna let me go free? Don't you know how slow go the penalty clocks with their tickety talks in the penalty box? That was, did you, that, that was unbelievable. I mean, I think it's, I think it's great. you're doing the backup oh, singing? Oh, God. It's got oh, a God. nice little voice on it. Yeah. Now, who, who, who wrote it that came up with the six words that repeated <laughs> over and over and over? He wrote for Chubby Checker and Elvis Cowman. Wow. Cowman. How do you feel now? And they're all dead. You know. <laughs> that should be your walkout song, Vinny, when you come on stage. Seriously, yeah. though. That was, you know what's amazing about that song? It was 1975, correct, when they did the song? Yeah. And that was number one on the charts in Philadelphia, only behind no, ahead, Elton John? No, ahead. Of Elton John. He was behind. Well, that's Elton John. But, <laughs> it, what did I say? I don't even say it. I'm just saying, he was, no, 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 on the record chart. Yeah, sure. But it's amazing. How long did it stay number one? How many times have you gone number one during this game? <laughs> but how long did it stay number one? Not long. That was pretty but we cool. We won the Stanley Cup that year, so you know. Yeah. Did the guys? I, I, I lip-synced it on the Michael Douglas show. No, 
You were in the Michael Douglas show yeah. doing that song. I, I <laughs> lips like that is I incredible. Did a couple, yeah, yeah. Uh, did a couple concerts over in New Jersey. There was you know at least fifty people there. <laughs> fifty people. Wow. He's in a church. Yeah. That's great. <laughs> people don't know he's actually he's got like a fifteen minute set of stand up. He's done yeah, stand up. No, That's yeah. true. Very well. That's because yeah. he knew he had no music career. Listen, yeah. um, that song. Do you still have the original? Record of that song? Well, I actually bought the last 800 of them. They made 801. Um, I just, I just think it was great. Did you make a lot of money off that back no. then? No. 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 Was there a flip side to that record? Yeah, yeah. it's called Your Way Is Right for You. And it, did you sing it then yeah. too? Also? Yeah. No, you didn't oh do my a second gosh. song. Is that right? Well, what do you think? There's always a flip side. Not yeah. when you sing like that on the first <laughs> side. <laughs> the B side. <laughs> yeah. That was That's too thing, much. You know, you, know how I, you know how I did it? Yeah. Yeah. The raising? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you have like one great song yeah. and then one horrible yeah. song. That's, yeah. That's yeah. incredible. <laughs> Baby, I, uh, how long you gonna keep me in the penalty I take, box? I get a six. What should we use the second one? Baby, how long you gonna keep me in the penalty box? Baby, how long? <laughs> no, it was good. It was good in 75. It was, uh, at that time, there was a few other guys that sang Sean. Jim Schoenfeldt had a song out. Yeah. She's just 17. <laughs> I swear to God. Wow. Seriously? I swear to God. That was the name of the song. Wow. Yep. Oh, it, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Huh? I swear Football to God. players had songs. What yeah. was it? Jim McMahon? Yeah. yeah. Super Bowl yeah. Shuffle? Yeah. yeah. He had Joe a song. Joe Frazier. Yeah. Singletary. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Larry Holmes. What was his, uh, not Singletary, played for Chicago, the running back, the best. Um, I'm Payton. Payton. Walter. Yeah, Walter Payton. Yeah, Walter Payton. He had a song. Yeah. 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 That was big. Check. Check. Father and son. Yeah. Father Ooh. time. <laughs> <laughs> That's your second good one <laughs> of the night. You're getting oh, good. God. <laughs> Does that card help anybody? Didn't even help me. That's Check. Terrible. Check. 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 That's terrible. Check. 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 He folds. Well, might as well see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you got a strategy. The fake. King. King. King's what? I don't have that. <laughs> well, there goes the toll money. Hey, Schultz, did you? <laughs> <laughs> He's taking an Uber pool home. Hammer, do you? You he got 20 goals. That is. Was that the same year you had the 400 plus minutes? No, me? No. Was 74, I had 20 goals. And uh, in 75 is when I. And you had the 400. So really? Yeah. When you had 20, how many did you have? At least? Minutes. Like over 250. 300? Almost 300. Yeah, yeah. 350, 3 something. Yeah. Okay, yeah. let's 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 get through this yeah. hand. Okay. And we'll take a break, and you can go to the bathroom. <laughs> did they? Uh, did you play with a regular line that first yeah. one you got twenty? Who were you playing with? Uh, okay, Chris, Celeste on you, buddy. Come on, man. Oh, yeah. What's going on? I, I always play here. So Chris is going to play uh, uh, regularly five. with those two guys. Yeah. Dave, on you, buddy. Folder, call five dollars. He's going to call Christian. He folds, Dave, on the button. Call, fold, Call. raise. He calls. Five dollars. And I'll check. Jeez, Rick. <laughs> I'll check. I haven't got more Your than option. six. <laughs> Your option. Half hour. Your option. Check. Call. Okay. Let's go to the flop. I think we all have mediocre hands. Okay. Okay. I check. Check. I check. <coughs> check. 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 Everybody check. Ooh, 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 big pot. Lush. Okay, I check. check. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Fold. Fold. Mm -hmm. huh. Let them bully you, Vinny. Come on. Yeah, I'm not letting them bully me. I call. Bullying me. Hey, it's glue. Three players. Check. Check. Did you check? Yeah, Ten that's bucks. That's what I meant by check. Sorry, I'm. <laughs> You'll see what a check is, bud. Mm. Uh, I don't want to overcall here, but I have to. 
Is that it? Yeah, yeah. Two pair. God dang it. And the clue. All right, well, listen, we're going to take hey, it out. Oh, oh, three. We'll be back three. right here in Philadelphia at the Rivers <laughs> Casino in just a couple of minutes. Good acting there, Carl. Yeah, sorry, buddy. How'd that work out for you? <laughs> How would you like to play against the pros on national TV? Download now to play and win. It's absolutely free to play. Welcome back to Poker Night in America Celebrity Home Game right here at Rivers Casino in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. We are getting close to the end, but there's still a few hands to play. So let's uh, get those cards going, Anna. Some good ones. Yeah. yeah. Please. Please. See? See, things take a turn Two sometimes. The aren't getting it. Episode uh, two. Who, who are the... You guys are blind. It's okay. Oh, over the line. On you, Dave. Five, check, fold, oh. whatever. Fold. Oh, a little raise there. Oh. Dave's coming along. I will fold. Oh. Oh, I got oh. see it. You know what? I'm pulling for you on this hand, Chris. Yeah, enough is you. enough. Thank you very much. Talk right. about a drop. I just feel lucky yeah. now. Wow. Oh, no, not with him in your corner. Pulling it off the first one. What's wrong with me being in your corner? I think that's a good check. guy to in your corner. Check. There you go. 15. Ooh. 15 is the best. Hey, we are playing turn. I didn't know Dad was still in. I think we got something going. Next time, oh. I think we should put him over there. Right? Trying to pick oh. us apart over there. No kidding, picking on us. What oh, do you think? They didn't work this out on the plane? Yeah. <laughs> Follow my lead, wow. son. 15. Right into Dad. Look at Dad. Oh, Dad, no, you. don't do that. You know it's about winning, eh? Father, son, it doesn't matter now. It's yeah, I know, winning, but. Right? I hope it is. Or will you get in trouble from mom? Yeah. Not <laughs> <laughs> Who's going to get in trouble oh, from mom the worst? You couldn't let the Christian win? <laughs> no card has slowed him down. Think oh. about this, Dave. Think about it now. Take your time. I think that's a good lay down. Because yeah. if you couldn't yeah. beat the ace, you certainly couldn't yeah. beat the king. He's got three threes. Uh, yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. That is a big hand. Yeah, yeah, three threes. Oh, yeah. Very big hand. Oh. Buy a soda after the game. Wow. wow. It's not hey. a stinking root beer. Hey, yeah. let's go on a canoe. Want a lifesaver, son? Okay, Dad. Buy him a soda. Are you guys sharing a room? Actually, no. No. It's more You're money. Coming over more money than production <laughs> spent. <laughs> No, because if you are, there is going to be a room available right after the show. We just sped up your flight. I, I know how they can save some money. Take one of your meal checks away from you. Wow. <laughs> that was a reach. <laughs> is that why the table's so high? So that was a reach. <laughs> that was a reach. Taking crap from the king of the receding hairline. <laughs> it's a, called a five head, buddy. Yeah. Okay, not a four head, a five head. <laughs> I love how you keep the little yeah, part right. up there like it's going to make a yeah. comeback. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, listen, you flop. I'm all okay, about the you, hair. Yeah, I only, got, that's like, all I have is hair. You got a blow dryer in your room? That's all I have is hair. That's my big claim to yeah. fame. Yeah. Very lucky yeah. in that department. Hmm. Oh, fold. Fold. Call. Call. Fold. 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 Heads up. Heads up play. Heads up play. Yeah. Little hockey saying heads up. Yeah. It is. Oh yeah. Check. I'll check. Oh. Damn. Damn it. <laughs> check. I'll check. Okay, take it down. You could win a seat to yeah. be on this show, folks, so pay attention to what I'm about to tell you. Search for the free Poker Night in America app, download it, and sign up for the sweepstakes. You could win an all-expense-paid trip to appear on this national television show with my friends and myself. So what are you waiting for? Pull out your phone and download it today. It really is a great app. As a matter of fact, on the next show, our sweepstakes winner is going to be here. It's really cool that they get to play with, you know, washed up players from 
different teams. You know what they say, eh? It's better to be a Actually, he's gonna be. never was. Eh? He's gonna okay? You know you ever heard that one? But... I don't think anyone's you not have. heard anything you out of your mouth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what? We all end up has been, they not? Yeah. Well, no, except, for Vinny. Except, except for Vinny. Except for Vinny. You know, I, you know I tease you. I, I think yeah. you're all great. You're yeah. really all yeah, great. Sure. Well, I'm not taking it back. Okay. <laughs> no, really. The story about you. The stories that people in the public oh, don't get oh. to hear. Gee, I wonder why you're losing. It's <laughs> 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 just tipping his hands over. Hey, fellas, try to beat this card. <coughs> Sorry. No. At this point, I'm just trying to get a card to actually play. <laughs> no, I really, I Jack, do. Jack, Jack. People at home get to hear Ooh. stories that they don't hear about athletes and stuff, like about your mom, yeah. you know, getting you stuff and she thought she had all the equipment. That was a real tearjerker. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, I thought, I didn't know how to get a garter belt. Does your mom know what you're doing after the hockey game? Uh, oh, man. <laughs> Be careful. People don't know our relationship. Yeah, why we, we don't care. have one. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that's because your, your mom never got you a garter belt. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. Anna, you have to just deal the hand. You shouldn't be laughing at any of this. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Check. Vinny's got me like, you're going to have my jack back. <laughs> I know. I can't believe you tipped that over. And they won't edit that oh, out. You're going to look I don't so really, ridiculous. I really don't care. <laughs> you're going to look so ridiculous. Uh-oh, Dad Where says, take head? that, son. Hold, hold. Oh. I'm playing the board. Playing the Thanks. board? Who are you people? What the hell's going on here? <laughs> How did he raises you? You call? Oh, he's trying to uh, call you. Wow. Really yeah. worked this out, yeah. boys. Yeah. No father and son team ever again. Well, right? listen, I, we'll chat with you in just a minute because <laughs> sometimes shows have to be paid for. We're going to take a break right now. We will be back in just a couple of minutes right here. Philadelphia at the Rivers Casino on Celebrity Poker Night in America. Well, welcome back. Oh my God! It's the Hanson brother. Wow, that was the audition. Welcome back to Poker Night in America Celebrity Home Game. You know what? I had a lot of fun. You guys were awesome, and uh, I want to check the chip count, see how everybody ended up. Uh, Chris Hanson up three hundred and ninety-five dollars. Wow. Cool. Unbelievable. I'm up eighty dollars. Dave Hanson, uh, nothing. Wait a even. minute. I put these on, and it looks a lot you more. Did, yeah, yeah. Right. I come up with zero. Mattress down, down $30 is a change yeah, of events. No uh, Schultz down $170. I guess you won't be going through the toll. And <laughs> Chris down $275. That's because he only plays with one card because he shows everybody right. his other card. That's just how things go. I love being here. This is a great town, a great city, and a great casino. Uh, the Rivers Casino, great staff. Want to thank them all. Uh, uh, Tommy runs the poker room, unbelievable guy. I want to thank Anna, our great dealer. Everybody clap for Anna. You did a fabulous, fabulous job. And I especially, especially want to thank the crew behind Poker Night in America, Celebrity Home Game, and you guys. Dave Schultz, you did two episodes. You're an awesome guy, a real legend. I'm a big fan. Chris Terrian, continue doing what you're doing. Sir. Great commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Natra, seriously, I love you, brother. We That's have a fun. lot of fun together. Yeah. I'll see you at the Rose Bowl well. for uh, Ludzi. Big fans, all of us. And I hope they make a part four and five, because Rambo's coming back. And Chris, Christian. That's about as funny as a fart in a space suit. There you go. That's right. There you go. Yeah, yeah. And Christian Hanson, thanks, man, and good luck. And uh, we'll see everybody next time right here on Poker Night in America, Celebrity Home Game. Next time you're going to choke me, let me know. Oh, wait. Hey, I'll, I'll, I'll play along. Someone get a picture?